A few years ago, I found myself in a mindset that was not my best, to say the least. I was obsessing over things that were out of my control. I was extremely harsh and cruel on myself. And the thought process that I was stuck in was not serving me at all. I knew I needed to make a change. A story popped into my mind that one of my mentors, Jack Canfield, had shared where he talked about a friend of his. And this friend of his had a gratitude practice where every morning he would not get out of bed. Sometimes he'd spend up to 30 minutes in bed until he had a tear of gratitude streaming down his face. And I thought, you know, if I could rewire my brain to be so obsessed over gratitude, it would change my life. I had often practiced and tried to practice gratitude, tried to being the ultimate optimal word there. I would do it once, I'd do it a couple times, I'd do it four or five days in a row. And yeah, you know, I might feel right sometimes, but I'd always go right back there. What's more, I'd end up being pissed off and frustrated with the process because it was like, where are the tears? Why, aren't, why isn't the gratitude coming down? I'm a good person, I'm a grateful guy, I'm a happy person. But therein lied the problem. I wasn't committed to the process of gratitude. I was more searching for the outcome, the byproduct, the payoff of it. I realized that needed to change if I really wanted to embody gratitude and download what Jack's friend had talked about and have that be a baseline experience for me. So I came up with this idea to challenge myself to do 365 days of gratitude, a gratitude post every day on social media to help hold me accountable for an entire calendar year. Well, that was almost three years ago. Just this past week, I passed one of my 1,000th consecutive day of gratitude posting, taking time to acknowledge something I'm grateful for. And there's been a few things I've observed on this journey that I thought maybe it might be of service to you and I want to share, with them, share them with you really quick. The first one being is that gratitude is a muscle. Gratitude is a muscle. We live in a day and age where you go through on social media and you scroll, 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 and there is everyone and anything promising you instant, immediate, overnight changes that you will go to bed. If you buy this course, you do this program, you will go to bed one way and you will wake up with a million dollar business, a blissful relationship. You will rip up, wake up with ripped six pack abs and the whole waterworks that comes with that. It's BS. Anything in life that is worth anything is going to take effort. It's going to take work. It's going to take consistency. And just like it's gonna take effort and work to lose weight, build muscles, build a business, build in a meaningful relationship, it's gonna take the same amount of effort and work to build a meaningful gratitude practice. It's a muscle. The first few weeks you do it, you're gonna feel sore, you're gonna feel worked, you're gonna feel tired, and then you're gonna hit this point where it feels like you're getting to a plateau. You might feel a little bit of progress, but then it feels like you're stuck there for a long time. But if you're willing to keep practicing and keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, eventually there will be a breakthrough. It was probably a full six months into that first year. So what is the math on that? 380 plus days, 200 days? Until I really started to feel and experience gratitude at the deep level that Jack Canfield had shared in that story. So gratitude's a muscle. You have to keep working it. Now what's great is once you start to get in shape with it, you just it just becomes a habit. So we do the work with it. Start for the long haul. Don't just do it for a few days. Commit to the long game. Second with that is consistency is critical. Consistency is absolutely critical. The reason I failed so many times before is because I wasn't doing it again for the long game. I was doing it trying to get the immediate payoff. So often in life we engage in new pursuits because we want the instant payoff. We want instant gratification. It feels good to feel good, doesn't it? And most of us want to get as far away from the uncomfortable as possible. But it's through the consistency of the uncomfortable that we get the payoff of the promised land on the other side. Consistency is king. What helped me be consistent was doing the daily gratitude post. I would not have done this and made it a thousand plus days now if I didn't have all of you holding me accountable. If I didn't go on and say, I'm going to do this for a year, and then do it and then have people want, expecting it to show up. So consistency is king in anything that you do. The third thing with this is gratitude is meant to be shared. Gratitude is meant to be shared. When I first started doing this before I did the, the thousand days, I was keeping it all to myself. I would go find a quiet place to think and that was that. And it was all right. But what I found that has been really powerful and probably the most meaningful to me with this 
is that by going online and sharing my daily gratitude posts, it's built kind of a community around it. People from all over the world will chime in on things that they're grateful for. People have written in talking about how they had the worst day, but they saw the gratitude post and it reminded them that even in our worst days, there's some good in every day. That no matter how bad or how challenging or how difficult life may seem at the time, that there's always something to be grateful for. And if you've watched and followed along at all of my gratitude posts, you know that these aren't big, extravagant things most of the time. A lot of times it's simple stuff. I'm grateful for my sight. I'm grateful for being able to have clothes on my body. Grateful that I have a refrigerator with food in it, a roof over my head, clean water to drink. And that was the real game changer for me. When I look back almost three years now and see where I was getting so obsessed over that not so great mindset, it was because what I was doing is I had fallen into a bad habit of comparing myself to others. I would have these expectations about where I should be in different aspects of my life and I'd compare them to other people and say, well, because I'm not there, then I'm this or that, whatever it is. The reality is this, what I've realized and learned from the last thousand plus days of gratitude, I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I mean, I have a roof over my head. I have four walls around me. I have clothes on my body. I have food in my refrigerator. I have eyes I can see, I can smell, I can taste, I can touch, I can move my fingers and arms and toes. I have um, legs that work. I have people like you who are watching this. There's technology that allows us to do this in this high definition now that we can do this from our phones and whatnot. I mean, there's thousands. I have a heart that's pumping blood right now, keeping my life. I have lungs that allow me to inhale oxygen. I have working internal organs that do all the things that they do. I am so immensely blessed. And I believe you are too. And that's perhaps the biggest thing I took away from these last thousand plus days of gratitude is realizing that if I step away from obsessing over those one or two little things that seem out of my control, I realize just how blessed I am. And then I can still strive for goals, for dreams, for aspirations, but I can do it from a very grateful state. And that is a much, much more blissful way of living. Trust me, because I've done it both ways. So here's to a thousand plus days of gratitude. Thank you to all of you who have been following along and sharing the journey. And I look forward to sharing the next thousand days with you. Take care, everyone. Sending lots of love to you. And I am so grateful for you. Thank you for being a part of my journey.